Good. All right. Well, thrifting has become really popular. I feel like uh, everybody, like we have a, a young producer and she is all about thrifting. She could even be the queen of thrifting, I think, but I might be a close second. <laughs> it's the thrill of finding that awesome piece, right? Yes. At a great price. And so you probably know about Savers, Goodwill, some of those, but there are some really amazing boutiques around like Thrift on Fifth Absolutely. that has a lot of beautiful pieces. And so thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yes, and uh, so tell us a little bit about your boutique. So Thrift on Fifth is in the basement of Christ United Methodist Church. Okay. Um, we're only open three days a week, uh, Wednesdays from 4 to 7, Saturdays from 9 to 12, Sundays from 10 to 11. Okay, those are great hours, though. Like Fabulous yep, hours. You can fit one of those in your schedule. Absolutely, yeah. and everything that we have is donated items, um, nice. and all of the money that we make, it's all run by volunteers. It all goes to our child care center. Wow. Um, for a lot of different things, and everything in the store is a dollar, with the exception of kids' items that are 50 cents. Oh, my goodness. Um, and we have one boutique rack, but actually, I like to think the entire store is boutique, but we have yeah. one that's really, sometimes they're brand new items, oh, wow. really designer items, and that one is a whopping five dollars for those items. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well yes. I gotta get over there. Yeah, three full sure. rooms. It's it's amazing. <gasps> wow. Amazing. Little really a hidden gem here we've really got is. going on. Yeah. And then all those funds go to the child care center. Every bit of it. Yep. Wow. Everything is run by volunteers. That's so. really neat. So yeah. it's like a win win win. Okay, so we've got the information up that four hundred fifth Street Southwest in Rochester. And I can't believe that each piece a buck. 50 cents for yeah. kids. And we've been around for about six years and we've thought really? about raising prices, but it's just easiest this way. Everybody knows we did put in the little boutique section. Right, the little the which high people end oftentimes $5. go all of those other people that think they're thrifting queens, <laughs> they go there first. So, yes. Yeah. I can totally see that. So how do we donate clothes if we've got some things we might like so to do? So at the church, um, there's a bin right inside the door. Okay. The one thing, because we're volunteers and we have limited all of our space we want to use to be selling things, so yeah. we can't keep things out of season. But okay. you know, right now items late summer, um, okay. you know, and then probably starting in about late August, we'll take for the fall. Okay. And just anytime the church is open, you can drop things off. Oh, we nice. just ask, you know, clean and good shape. Yep, try um, to keep it season appropriate because so you, you don't have a bunch of extra yes. space to keep and, that. And we really do get amazing, amazing I items bet. from the community. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to know all where all the little places are in yes. town. And you were telling me this is a thrifted this outfit. This is, is ah. hundred. well, not the shoes, but everything else. And it is, you know, and again, a dollar I was going to say, so this item. would cost me $2. This would be $2. It's a pretty, pretty snazzy outfit for $2. I think so, too. <laughs> Every once in a while, we do a half price sale. We just finished a half oh, price, wow. so then it it would have been, and we estimate in the two days of our half price sale that we sold over 1,200 items. Oh my gosh, so you're making some money there yeah. too. And so things, you've obviously got an inventory that turns over fast yes, too. So fast. if you if you were there last week, there might be a completely different inventory this week. So. And, and people know it. They, oh, they come in and <laughs> they somehow come they and immediately find the new items. And I think, how do you do that? I don't get it, but they they're keeping good. a Shoppers really got a, a mind for those yes. things, for what's in there. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being here today. Yes, we're so appreciated. Um, today we've got some trending